Hi, we're at lesson 27 now on the head and neck. I want to remind you that the head rests at the top of the spine. It rests right on that first cervical vertebra called the atlas, right? When it's resting evenly, it's like having a construction cone, you know, one of those orange cones, and placing a ball on top of it, and it will balance, right? That's what we want. We want to balance the head on top of our spine. When we do that, the front of our neck and the back of our neck should be pretty even. There'll be a slight curve to our neck from the side. It won't look like a straight line because if I lengthen the back of the neck to try to make my neck absolutely flat like I was against the wall, that's gonna tuck my chin down and compress it and actually start to give me a headache a little bit. The same is true as if I have more length in the front of my neck, you're gonna feel like your chin is up and you're looking for upwards, right? We don't want that either. We want equal length on the front and the back. The eyes will be uh, looking forward, not down, right? When we're walking, we should be looking ahead. I know I had a really bad habit. Uh, when I was in New York at first, I would constantly watch the ground um, because I don't know, I often found every little crack there was and I would trip over it. it. was, you know, so I taught myself to wait, look forward, look at the horizon, which made me feel much more upright. And actually it was easier to walk more quickly, especially with my backpack on because I always wear a backpack and I even do to this day. Okay, let's explore um, rotating the head on top of the neck and afterwards I want you to write down on your student activity sheet what you noticed about your placement and, and how it felt when you were doing this. Okay, so start lying on your back. You can have either your legs bent or straight, doesn't matter. Mine are a little bit more comfortable being bent and you're just resting easily. See if you can feel what your neutral is. Are you looking straight up at the ceiling? And let's draw now the chin down towards the chest and feel the back of the head moving upwards and our neck lengthening, flattening. Good, bring the chin upward now and you can notice how it shortens the back of your neck and you're sort of looking if with your eyes you've now looked backwards right so here's straight up if i'm lucky with my eyes i start to look further down back up looking behind myself all right start from your neutral Close your eyes and I want you to be very subtle. Just a little bit of a chin drop. Go back to neutral. A little bit of a chin lift and go back to neutral. Do that a few times. And when you come back to neutral, I want you to notice how both the front and the back of the neck feel. Your shoulders should just be resting. Is it even? Now, if you found in one of the other lessons that you have a slightly forward head, having your head on the ground might not feel super comfortable. So you could put a small pillow underneath your head if it feels like you're dropping back because you tend to be slumped forward. So that would be a variation. You want to start off first in a comfortable aligned position. All right, write your notes.